Welcome to Dull Carnegie, your gateway to understanding the fascinating intersections of technology, engineering, and programming. And today we'll explore a topic that's not often discussed in mainstream tech circles, but uh, holds immense importance in safety critical industries like aerospace and railways, the ADA programming language. Why do these industries prefer ADA over modern languages like Python, C++, or Java. Stay with me for the rest of the video uh, as we unpack this. When we talk about aerospace and railways, we're dealing with systems where failure isn't an option. A malfunction can mean the loss of lives and millions of dollars in damages. These industries demand high reliability, uh, strict adherence to safety standards, and rigorous certification, all of which directly influence their choice of programming languages. ADA was developed in the late 1970s under a U.S. Department of Defense initiative. It's a statically typed high-level language designed specifically for real-time embedded and mission-critical systems, while it's not as popular as Python or C++. ADA excels in scenarios where correctness, reliability, and safety are paramount. One of ADA's most significant advantages lies in its alignment with certification requirements like DO-178C in aerospace and Senelec EN-50128 in railways. These standards require provable software correctness, strict adherence to coding practices, and exhaustive testing. ADA's strong type system minimizes runtime errors, built-in support for contract-based programming, enables formal verification. Tools like Spark ADA provide static analysis capabilities, ensuring code safety and security. Let's compare ADA to modern languages like Python and C++. While these languages are uh, versatile and powerful, they weren't designed with safety critical systems in mind. ADA isn't just about safety, it's also designed for clarity and robustness. Modularity. Packages and child packages make code organization intuitive. Concurrency, tasking model supports, safe, efficient multitasking error detection and compile time checks prevent many common bugs. Readability, designed to be self-documenting. ADA is the backbone of many aerospace systems. For example, the flight management systems in commercial aircraft often use ADA for their critical modules. Autonomous drones, field close to my expertise, leverage ADA's reliability for collision avoidance and swarm intelligence when working on a drone swarm system, ensuring inter-drone collision avoidance required a language that guarantees precision and safety. ADA provided the, the necessary tools to implement ease features with confidence. In railways, ADA is used in signaling systems, train control, and onboard equipment. The European train control system, ETCLS for instance, employs ADA to maintain the integrity of safety critical communications. ADA often gets labeled as outdated or overly complex. However, its longevity is a testament to its reliability. Modern tools and frameworks like Gnat and Spark keep ADA relevant in today's tech landscape. Um, of course, no language is without its challenges. ADA's steep learning curve and niche community can be barriers. Additionally, its commercial licensing in some cases can deter adoption, uh, especially among smaller organizations or open source projects. However, the availability of open source implementations like GNET Community Edition has lowered this barrier significantly. Why hasn't ADA gained mainstream popularity? The answer lies in its specialization. 
while Python and C++ cater to general purpose needs, Ada's strength lies in its niche application. Moreover, the lack of widespread Ada training and the perception of it being too specialized contribute to its limited adoption. Uh, let's look at a simple Ada code snippet to understand its syntax and features. Uh, here's an example of a program that demonstrates Ada's type safety and modularity. For a slightly more advanced example, consider a tasking model for concurrency. These examples showcase Ada's robust structure and its suitability for concurrent programming. With the growing emphasis on safety and security, especially in autonomous vehicles and advanced aerospace systems, Ada's relevance is only set to increase. Industries that value safety over speed will continue to rely on it. To sum up, Ada's unparalleled focus on reliability, safety, and certification readiness makes it the go-to language for aerospace and railways. It may not be trendy, but in safety critical industries, functionality and security triumph over popularity. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of Ada programming. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Until next time, this is Thulkername signing off.